What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, we start back up over here by the panda enclosure, where, as you can see, I finally managed to get a brown panda and a baby brown panda. It took some doing. It was a lot of breeding. And uh, you'll notice that there is less water in here and less vines and that is because you know at the end of the last episode i was talking about how the uh, pandas are not the smartest creatures and literally as soon as i finished saying that and cut the clip uh the baby that i had climbed up a vine jumped off died yep so now we have it, so there's like basically the whole floor in here is covered in string so the vines can't get any further down, hopefully. Um, so we don't have them climbing around doing a bunch of goofy stuff they should not be doing. So hopefully they all manage to uh, stay alive here and it's raining now, so maybe we'll get a thunderstorm. That would be kind of cool. But yeah, we have pandas. So we've got our, you know, grown brown one and our forever baby little brown one. And then another cool thing, I was lighting up some caves. As you can see, I actually put covers above the uh, outdoor mobs here just to make sure that they don't get struck down by lightning because that would not be good. But over here in the base where I left the door open, should not have done that. I managed to get a few glow squids. There was a dark um, waterlogged cave over following that rail. So we've got these two uh, trapped and named. So luckily there is no stone floor in here. So Axolotl will not be spawning and killing them. So yeah, once we uh, figure out a place to put them, we can hopefully uh, relocate these two without them perishing. So that's going to be a task for another day. Once we uh, figured we would finish our current enclosures we've got going on. Uh, you know, let's sleep and up. We can can't skip that. But yeah, I figured uh, once we finish all of our little uh, other enclosures over here for some of our bigger mobs. We could work on an aquarium of sorts and hopefully have an axolotl tank, a tropical fish tank, and, uh, you know, squids, glow squids, maybe even some dolphins. That'd be pretty cool, um, but difficult to accomplish. So either way, we got our pandas. Hopefully they're all uh, safe in there. I would hate for anything to happen to them again. Like I said, I even got rid of the water because, like, I left for a little bit and one of the other ones had disappeared so i don't know if it like drowned or what the deal was but yeah they're they're really dumb animals i'm gonna be honest like they're super stupid so hopefully they don't uh manage to kill themselves off i don't think there's anything in here that they should be able to climb in order to get anywhere they shouldn't but I guess we'll just have to uh, hope for the best on that one. But I figured today uh, we would either do polar bears or mushrooms. And I'm kind of leaning towards mushrooms. And this dude up here is making me very nervous. I don't like that he's able to get up there. So we might have to look into yeah see they just like i don't know scale right up it's kind of sketchy i don't know i mean they're still alive but yeah like i said uh, it's not not ideal but i do see a wandering trader over there so let's go talk to him and see if he's got any nautilus shells because that's usually what i try to get from these dudes and he just disappeared yeah i can still see you buddy as if I would give you an ancient degree. What do you got? Uh, bucket of puffer fish. I've got quite a bit of those. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really... I don't care enough to try to get any of this stuff. But it is about nighttime, so let's go ahead and head into the barn where we can sleep. We'll just go ahead and plop that down, get some rest, and uh, 
yeah, hopefully it is not raining when we wake up and we can get started on our uh, mushroom habitat. We'll just grab some of the stuff. We Luckily, it looks like we still got all of our mushrooms. Perfect. So I think to uh, start off on this, we're going to have to make a little journey out to the mushroom island to get some mycelium. And that way we can, you know, fill this in. We're going to need to definitely get a roof on this guy. But I did prepare a box, I believe it is this one right here, with uh, some stuff for our goat and our panda bear. Not panda bear, uh, polar bear uh, habitat. So we got some stone variations, you know, lots of white stuff, snowy stuff, you know, both the um, polar bears and the goats, you know, kind of live in snowy environments and the goats you know the snowy uh mountains so i figured we'd do kind of like a mountain range type thing but one that they cannot climb and jump off of because again uh mobs not being the brightest in this game so i'm gonna head over to the mushroom island and when i get there we'll meet up gather some mycelium head back and uh get cracking on the uh Enclosure. It's nice to, you know, just kind of work on some, you know, easy, I say easy, but there's always some challenge that pops up, but some lighthearted fun stuff, you know, just checking on our little mobs do over here. I really wish I had put this over there, but it's kind of late now because these guys are going to be a pain to move, but we've got, you know, skeleton, our enderman, our endermite, uh, was the Vindicator, I believe, and then you know our Evoker. Not sure what's gonna go here yet, and then we got our got our Witch. So everything's good to go there. So yeah, I'm going to uh, like I said, head over to the Mushroom Islands, and we can start gathering up some mycelium. The mushroom uh, habitat should be relatively simple to do. It just you know mycelium and uh some big mushrooms and actually over here i made a little change to the tree farm i put slabs on the bottom half of the second block up on either side and that kind of forces it so only uh tall trees can grow so get a little bit more wood that way which i think is a nice thing i mean occasionally you'll get some issues like that where there's probably a branch or something that spawns above that's preventing that one from growing but it is what it is but yeah overall we're making good progress you know definitely uh kind of excited the only the only problem is we got 1.18 coming out soon at the time that i'm recording this which is actually uh when i say it's what's today yeah i'm recording this on november 15th so I'm pretty far ahead in terms of uh, episodes, and I'm a little worried about that because once 1.18 drops, I plan to keep this world, and it's either rush all the episodes out right away and then start on the 1.18 stuff day one, or what I'm planning on probably doing is just, you know, we're going to take our time, you know, there's no rush, like... Maybe I'll do another little world starting off in the 1.18 for when it drops. We'll have to see. But either way, I've been rambling on for far too long. So let's go ahead and hop in the nether and head on over to the Mushroom Island. So I'll see you there. Alrighty, and we have arrived. And it occurred to me that I did not bring... I really should have brought some grass. So as we dug up the... um mycelium we could start putting down some grass to replace it but whatever i guess we'll just kind of leave it and use it as a little bit of a mycelium farm so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh find a good spot here where we've got like kind of a nice flat layer like this will work where we can just gather quite a bit of mycelium I want my ceiling. I don't want to accidentally gather dirt because that would be kind of pointless. We can get that anywhere. And actually, that might be something that we uh, set up at the base here maybe today or sometime soon is a little um, mycelium farm because eventually I have considered building something uh, on this island like a mega base. And 
I would really prefer it be not mycelium when we do that because these are kind of like the perfect place to do a mega base because other than, you know, uh, things like that, which really shouldn't be happening, um, mobs won't spawn on the actual land on Mushroom Island. So you can kind of do whatever you want with the lighting and not have to worry about um, tons of mobs spawning, which is super great. And that way you can kind of get more of the aesthetic lighting. But then again, I guess with 1.18 releasing soon, that really won't matter anymore since mobs will only spawn in complete darkness. So, eh, it'll still be nice because I guess that way at night they still won't, you know, spawn on the... Uh, the land but i'm gonna go ahead and keep uh gathering some mycelium here and uh once i'm done i'll meet you back up at the base and we can get cracking on uh our mushroom cow habitat so i'll see you in a little bit all right so here we are this is where i think i'm going to put the mushroom cows and the first thing we need to do or the first two things we need to do is get a glass ceiling on this and then dig this down two blocks and put a uh, layer of uh, stone bricks down on that one and then the mycelium will go on top of that. The reason for doing that is so if we are digging around in this area we don't accidentally like if we're underground come digging through the, um, the floor here. That's something that you do not want to do so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just get all this grass torn out because we don't want grass in here this is for the mushroom cows so we need to have their mycelium and like, we, like you can see right there we've got actually you should be able to see over here oh that's not oh because the pandas are one over but yeah underneath uh all of the lights and everything here want to go ahead and make sure we get the um stone brick or at least some sort of uh uh obviously player placed block down there so that we like i said don't accidentally come tunneling into this because i do occasionally do some digging underground so I'm going to go ahead and get that all put in. And then once I've got that, we'll join back up. And I think we'll uh, build this enclosure together instead of time lapsing it. So I'll see you in just a sec and we'll get started on that. Alrighty, we got our glass ceiling in. I went ahead and just did all of them and uh, we got our stone bricks down. So now we can go ahead and grab all of our mycelium. And we'll just go ahead and get this floor put in. All right, now that we got the floor, I think we'll do some, maybe some little kind of raised bits here. And something like that. Yeah, we'll keep the back high. And I'm not going to risk putting any water in this one because I don't know if it was the water that was um, the cause of the demise of some of our baby pandas. And I would for the same thing to happen to our uh, little mushrooms because I mean the red ones are easy enough to get but the brown ones not so much so actually what we'll probably do here is we'll have this side come over a little bit higher up like this how much my ceiling got yeah, plenty just want to make sure that I have enough that we can do like a little farm or something and then we'll just kind of have a little raised up area here in the back, making sure that there is no potential uh, three block drops. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. Now, the thing that's going to be interesting is when we go to plant uh, the mushrooms here. So we're going to see if, let's see, do I have bone meal on me? I do. 
So we're going to try growing the tree the natural way, but I am slightly concerned uh, that if we grow one of these, so let's try putting one maybe here. Uh, yeah, it should be good enough. That, oh, okay. So that actually worked out perfectly. It did not break into the glass. So then if we do a red one, Maybe we could try it here. And my only concern is, uh, what about here? Let's try that. Maybe it'll just kind of grow into the other one. Yeah, see? That's the thing is mushrooms, they give no Fs about how they grow. So... Yeah, actually, I think that'll probably work. Because, I mean, we got the one. It's a little bit big. I guess we could, like, chop it back a little bit. So, go... Let's see. Oh, no, because if we break that, it's going to leave the end looking all wonky. So, yeah, we'll just leave it. That's good enough. I mean, I'm not going to complain. We will have to uh, spawn-proof the top, though, is the only thing. So do I have... You know what? We'll worry about that later. So anyway, we got our uh, mushrooms in there. That's looking good. And then, you know, maybe we'll just kind of plant some of the other ones. We'll just kind of scatter them about. And then those will spread on their own. So we'll kind of have one there. And then maybe put another brown one there. Yeah, I'm digging that. And then what we'll do is we will head over here to our little, uh, where's the one that has all the handful of those. And we can just kind of stick some of these up in here, on there, and back. And then we'll, uh... Hide some like that. So that way it should hopefully light the top. And actually we can check that. So let's see. It's the nice thing about using mini HUD is we can hit O. And we've got the light level overlay. And we can see over here we've actually got some, uh, some spawnable space. So what we'll do is... Go ahead and... Pull out the middle there, and then grab ourselves a shroom light. Perfect. Now the question, mm hmm. Want that block. I don't know how I'm going to get to that block, so I guess we're just going to lose that block. So everything's looking good in here. Looks like we do have some uh, spots right there, but that's nothing we can't fix by just hanging... I'll just chuck a lantern there. That'll look nice. Actually, you know what? We'll put those on the corners. I think that would look a little better, actually. And I need to buy more uh, lanterns from our villagers. So, yeah, there we go. That's looking good. I can definitely live with that. And you know what? The symmetry is going to bug me, so we'll just throw one in the middle, and then we'll just chuck one right there. Jits and gigs. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good so far. So we'll go ahead and have herself a little nappy nap. And then what we'll do in order to get the pandas, or not the pandas, the mushrooms into this, is we are going to build a little wall here that is too high. So. And then we'll just make a nice little... Uh, step up and then we can either bring them with leads or we can lure them with uh wheat either would work and actually i'm almost tempted to replace those with end rods so we may have to consider doing that but for now let's go and get our our critters so let's see do i want to go the i'm going to go the lead route just to make sure that we don't have any shenanigans. I should have some leads in here. Yes, I do. 
And let's see. Matt, Matt, you, 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 and you. Come with me, fellas. Come on, we got a new home for you. I guarantee you'll like it better than... You guys get through this? Yes, you can. Alrighty, perfect. Things are going smoothly so far. I don't want to jinx it, but... And come on, up we go, let's go. Yep, come on, everybody, up up and in. Fantastic, all right, so now we'll take the leads and then we'll just go ahead and start removing these from you guys. Who else is still as a lead? You. Is that everybody, you all, yep, you're all good to go and I can just fly out. And they are not going anywhere. So we've got our uh, our mushrooms all in place. So actually, I think I'm going to go and grab some end rods for that. Because I think it would look a lot better. So I'm going to go grab those. I may have to craft them. So I'm actually going to do a brief cut. So I will see you in just a moment. Alrighty. So we got the wall put in. We got the end rods put in. I left a lantern in the back because i only had three end rods off to get some more of those or make some more of those but yeah it's uh i got the shaders on so we could see it and i'm just kind of waiting for the sun to go down here so we can see how it looks at night with the uh the glow from the uh, shroom lights and the end rods but yeah overall i am pretty happy with this so still have a little bit of time left in the episode i just checked from the editing and that should give us just enough time to whip up a little mycelium farm so i'm going to figure out a place to put that and then uh we'll get cracking on building it and actually i'm honestly tempted to put it up there inside the uh top of the bar and we'll have to see if there's room but yep here it is at night just have a nice uh glimpse at everything before the mobs start coming out here we got like i don't know maybe 10 minutes or so in game there's about 20 seconds in real life Yep, Panda's looking good. Everything's all good to go there. So let's go ahead and get our sleepy sleep on. And then uh, we'll get started on the next part of the project. So I will see you momentarily. Alrighty, so here we are back up in top, or that back up in the top of the uh, barn where the wheat is actually ready to be harvested. But that's not why we're here. We're actually here to make a quick and dirty mycelium farm. And the way that we're going to go ahead and do that is we got some quartz. We're just going to come over here to what is about the middle, which I would say we're just going to line up with this. And we're going to go one, two, three blocks of quartz, like so. And then on top of those three blocks of quartz, we are going to have three blocks of mycelium. And then around those three blocks of mycelium, we are going to just go ahead and fence them off like so. Hopefully I've got enough. I think I may just, just have enough. Okay, now what we're going to go ahead and do is grab some dirt. I need a lot of dirt. And basically what you're going to want to do is just make a big square of dirt around your um three elevated blocks of mycelium and the more dirt that you have the more mycelium your farm will produce and the way that this works is as the uh, mycelium spreads which it does it will spread to uh nearby nearby blocks of um dirt You'll just uh, wait for it to spread, and then once it's all, uh, what's it called? Once it's all turned into mycelium, you'll just come along with your silk touch shovel and uh, harvest it up. So I figured we would just do a nice little, that's eh, probably big enough. We don't need it to be super big. And the thing is, we have to make sure that we are able to light this up as well, so... I figured we would make it look nice by doing, um, let's see, we can put that back, we can put these back, and then we'll do um, stair blocks so it's easy to get up. 
and we'll just come around like so and then the corners we will save for um a solid block so we can put uh lanterns on top let me get some more quartz stairs here it's 27 should be good hopefully those and then we will grab our regular blocks and go one there one there one there and one there and then we've got perfect just enough lanterns that we can go around and do some of these and then let's go ahead and hit o and looks like everything is still lit well enough in here except for right there so we can actually grab a torch pop it right there good to go and then for the top we can just boom lantern like that and the whole thing is lit so now gradually the mycelium should uh spread so we'll have to come back and check on it next episode. And uh, yeah, that's how you do a uh, mycelium farm. Pretty basic stuff. I just put the uh, the bars right there to um, block accidentally digging those. So over time, if this works, uh, I don't think, yeah, there, see, we actually got to see it live. So what will happen is the mycelium will spread and gradually it will fill this whole uh patch of dirt and then we will just come in with our silk touch shovel dig it all out replace it with dirt again so i'll have to throw some chest full of dirt in here so we can uh refill it but yeah that's how you uh do a mycelium farm super easy stuff but yeah i think that is where we are going to call it for today we got our mushroom cow enclosure and uh had time to do a mycelium farm too so i'd say that was pretty productive so as always thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like button if you like the video um hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video or an upload and then hit the bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out also don't forget to check me out on twitter twitch and patreon all of which are at iggy Haxler and linked in the description down below as well as my discord server so check that out if you're interested hope to see you there and uh hope to see you in the next episode you have a great rest of your day we'll see you next time bye, -bye.